What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 70th Jailbreak Update episode and today we're going to continue talking about the upcoming iOS 11.4.1 and the iOS 12 Jailbreak. So yes, it has been a while since my last Jailbreak Update episode and the main reason for that is because there just simply hasn't been a lot of really noteworthy news and I don't want to make Jailbreak Update videos that are just kind of pointless and just to get your hopes up for no reason. I just want to make Jailbreak Update videos when actual important things happen in the Jailbreak community. So with that being being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. And today we're going to be talking about some new developments in the iOS 12 jailbreak and also in the iOS 11.4.1 jailbreak. So let's start off with some news surrounding the iOS 12 jailbreak. And this news comes courtesy of Alibaba security researcher Min Spark Zhang, which has released things in the past. And he is also just a relevant member of the jailbreak community. So he posted this on January 11th, mock port oriented programming attack proof two, getting tasks for PID zero and root on iOS 12.1.2 on the iPhone 6s. And then you can see here he shows some screenshots of him getting root access on this iPhone 6s running on the latest version of iOS, which is 12.1.2. So this is all good and everything, but it's kind of concerning to see that this jailbreak only works for older devices like the iPhone 6s, and basically just devices with a headphone jack. So that left a lot of us, including myself, wondering, is this gonna work for the new iPhone, specifically like the iPhone XS, the XS Max, and the iPhone XR? Are we gonna actually be able to jailbreak these devices? And that is exactly where the next development from MinSpark Zhang comes. So just yesterday, he retweeted this tweet that says, finally, mock port oriented programming aka pop attack proof three get task for pid zero and root on ios 12.1.2 this time on an iphone 10s max with the a12 chip and then he says it's by him and the guy he's working with pac bypassed now and he retweeted this with the message a12 core with pac is not a problem for pop and once again you could see these screenshots here that show an iphone 10s max running on the latest ios 12.1.2 to getting root access. So yeah, this is amazing news because now we know that that brand new A12 chip on the brand new 2018 iPhones can be pwned because we did get a new security barrier with those new phones in the A12 chip. So it's awesome to see that we can actually jailbreak these devices. And this is also the first time we've seen this method being used by a security researcher to get root access on an iPhone. So this is really big news because obviously we have the latest version and the latest iPhones jailbroken or at least root access on those devices, but it's also the first time we've seen a method like this used to get to that stage. So yeah, it's definitely big news for the jailbreak community. So I know you guys are probably wondering, hopefully you didn't already type it in the comments yet, but you're probably wondering two questions. Number one, will this lead to a jailbreak? And number two, will MinSpark Zhang actually release this exploit so that it can potentially turn into a jailbreak? So to answer the first question, yes, this can lead to a full jailbreak if this exploit does in fact get released. And to answer the second question, which is will this get released? The answer to that is maybe. It's hard to tell right now. He didn't publicly say that he's gonna be releasing this, but MinSpark Zhang has released things in the past. Like I said, MinSpark Zhang has released exploits in the past. He did release the root FS remount for iOS 11.3 and that did help with the jailbreak there but at the same time he's also shown a lot of things on Twitter a lot of videos on Weibo and just all kind of things over the years and just hasn't released them he's basically just shown it for you know just to show that he can do it not really planning on releasing it to the public at all now like I said in this case he didn't actually say that he's going to be releasing this to the public at least not yet again this only happened a couple days ago within the past couple days so we still could get a release you know I'm gonna have to kind to stay tuned i will be letting you guys know if any new developments come of this but as of right now it doesn't seem that he plans on releasing this but i would not completely say that it's impossible and that it's never going to happen i think the best way of thinking about this is that get excited that this can actually be done that we can actually you know potentially jailbreak the new iphones on the latest version of ios but at the same time don't expect a release that way you don't get let down if nothing comes don't expect it if it does come you'll be surprised if it doesn't come you're not going to be let down that's just kind of always what i've preached on this channel channel for years now. So now let's shift over to the iOS 11.4.1 jailbreak. And this news is even better than the iOS 12 news for those of you that are still on iOS 11.4, the final version or 11.4.1. Because of course, as of right now, there's only a jailbreak for the beta version of iOS 11.4. There's no jailbreak for 11.4, the final version or 11.4.1. So you can see here that on January 11th, Timstar tweeted out, got TFP zero. Yay. Now I just need to clean up the kernel after exploit. So it doesn't pan 
panic on exit. And then he posted a screenshot for proof as you can see right there. And then the very next day on the 12th, he said, I finished the exploit enough to be useful for my purpose, which is porting the KPP bypass to iOS 11.2.6 and up. However, I unfortunately can't release the exploit standalone as planned originally just yet, since that would interfere with other people's projects. But keep your headphone jacks and lightning adapters excited and stay on iOS 11. If you're not jailbroken, stay on jailbroken. If you are jailbroken already, that's fine as well. There is something cool coming ETA Sun, which of course is just, you know, a meme meaning it's coming soon. So yes, while we don't have anything released just yet for iOS 11.4.1, it does seem that Timstar is going to be the one to release this exploit and potentially the jailbreak, the full jailbreak for iOS 11.4.1. So of course, if you are on iOS 11.4 or 11.4.1, definitely stay put, do not update whatsoever, even with the news about the iOS 12 jailbreak. And speaking of the iOS 12 jailbreak, if you are on any version of iOS 12 right now, stay there, do not update, even though we have the exploit, you know, potentially working for iOS 12.1.2, we don't know if that's going to be released and the you know the best guideline to follow is to stay on the lowest version possible so stay on whatever version of ios 12 you're on the lower version the better obviously you probably want to be on ios 12.1 or 12.1.1 and below but if you're on anything higher than that that's fine just stay put for now now in related news if you are jailbroken on ios 11.3.1 uncover just recently got updated to version 2.1.1 and it does come with some great improvements you can see the change log here shows that version 2.1.1 makes the jailbreak faster, it fixes a lot of bugs, it improves the memory management and just much, much more. So if you are jailbroken with Uncover, you should definitely update to the latest version just to ensure that the jailbreak continues running smoothly. Uh, I will have a link to this down in the description below as well, so you can go ahead and get the updated version. So yeah, that is the latest news on the iOS 11.4.1 and the iOS 12 jailbreaks. If you guys are excited for either one of these jailbreaks, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also make sure to leave a comment down below with what version your iPhone is on currently and if you're jailbroken if you're not jailbroken let me know what you're waiting for down in those comments below also make sure you guys do subscribe for a lot more jailbreak update videos coming in the future of course i will be one of the first people if not the first on youtube to let you know when a jailbreak actually gets released for either one of these two versions but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon